Rob McCachran here, you're unofficially your 2010 SCORE Laughlin Desert Challenge winner. How does it feel to be up here on top again? It feels really good. You know, all the guys at Rockstar Energy, BF Goodrich Tires, Masscraft Safety, and uh, Fox Shocks, they've been here all, all weekend helping us out, making this Alumacraft go faster. And yesterday we had a four second gap on, first, on second place and eight on third. So I knew it was gonna be a tough battle today. And uh, you know, both the guys that were close to me in the time started in front of me. So I knew we had to catch them or at least get close to them. And, uh, you know, it took me about four laps, like close to Justin, and uh, when we did, he gave a heck of a battle. We passed each other a couple times, and uh, it was just who was in the right line, who had the momentum. And uh, they were watering the track as we were going around, so when I was behind him, I was getting splashed with water, and my shield got soaking wet, gloves got soaking wet, and when I was wiping the shield, it wasn't coming clean. And uh, so I was getting worried that I wasn't going to be able to get by him to chase down Corey, but uh, luckily we got by him in a, in a, in a dry spot, and then we started catching uh, Corey as the race went around. We're here with Rick Fourier and his son Corey. Corey, you took over the driving duties today, put her on the podium. How was the course today? It was good. The competition was great. And uh, I just made one mistake, uh, flicked the uh, fuel switch off. So I was sitting there dead in the water for about 10 seconds. He still beat us by 10, so it really doesn't matter. Another 10, so it wouldn't have mattered either way. We tried as hard as we could. Well, great run out there. I'm sure, you know, sitting in the stands, you're, you're, you get behind the wheel of that 1648 Boyer racing car as well. but. I know it's got to feel good to see your boys up here on the podium. Oh yeah, it's it's great. It is awesome to see him run up front with the, the leaders and Rob's always in the front. And uh, that's why we put Corey in the car. All right, we're here with Justin, also known as Bean Smith, to you guys out there in the desert racing world. Bean, you're out here first race of the day. You got two more, two more to go. How's your race today? You know, uh, we got two more to go. I'm really looking forward to them, but this race is good. Uh, Rob and I had a little bit of a battle going the last couple laps, but the uh, car was awesome. You know, it pulled everywhere. Everyone did their job. It was a little bit of error on my part by setup. You know, maybe the car just got worn out a little bit, but it, uh, it just went south on me and started not working as well. So I just couldn't do it in the rough stuff, but uh, the car was awesome, man. And I, I'm the guys are all ready to switch the motor and training in the show, in the, over in the tent under the Oklahoma Semi, and we're going to get that thing ready to go and hopefully go back-to-back 12-win -to -back today. So are you going to do any changes? You said maybe the setup was uh, a little bit off? Yeah, a little bit off. We had, uh, I'm going to look over some stuff and see what we got going and see, make sure nothing's leaking, any shocks or any adjusters are broke. So we're going to check it all out and go from there. Well, stay tuned. I'm sure we'll see Justin Smith here after the Score Light race and the Class 1 race.